Hi, my amazing pen people. It's just from a magical planner and it's subscription day. So I have my Sadie stickers sticker subscription for my planner here. This is her weekly sticker kit. I'm thinking I'm going to change to her more decorative like journaling kit because the style of my planning is changing a little bit and I think that might go better with the direction I'm kind of leaning for next year, but we'll see. I haven't looked at this month's artwork, so it's going to be a complete surprise. <laughs> it's just been one of those months, guys. But I will insert a picture of her storyboard artwork that she always puts up right here for you guys to see. She does use the same artwork in both kits. It's just the formatting is very different. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and open this month's kit. I did rip the... the um, yeah, this part, <laughs> so I could open it. Yeah, words are hard, guys. <laughs> so it says November 2023. It came in the mail yesterday, so I'm super excited to see. Oh, we have some really beautiful flowers this month. Oh, it's definitely more spring. Her kits usually are a couple months ahead of what it is, so you can plan things out really nicely. I kind of love that so I'm not anxiously awaiting a kit for you know the month that's just about to start so I'm going to set this part off to the side and we'll start with the basic kit this is her normal format so we have nine boxes here and then we have some swatches here at the bottom this is a newer format I think she did redid it a couple of months ago we have gold foil this month. Oh, I really love this with like the, it looks like blowing leaves almost there, or maybe they're, I think they're blowing leaves. I mean, I guess they could be, because there's a couple here too. I was like, are they butterflies? But no, I'm pretty sure they're leaves. And then we have a cute quote here. It says, I must have flowers always and always, which is just a cute, it, like this makes me think of like May, kind of time frame we have some birds in the windows there that's really pretty we have a bird cage down here and just some gardening paraphernalia we have a we that's what it's called <laughs> full of flowers which is really pretty and of course the wind chimes here i love that she foiled the little swirls from the coffee it almost makes me think mothers it almost makes me think mother's day i'm not sure why <laughs> But this is our initial full box page. Next, we have our boxes page. So we have our circles, our ovals, our squares, our rectangles in the midi box size. So you have both the ones with the edge of lace around it and the plain ones. And then you have two rows of third boxes and a row of fourth boxes. For me personally, I kind of wish those were in reverse but I I like the amount of boxes that you get on here I think it's a really good amount our next page is our functional page so we get all of these headers up here which I've more recently started using and we have this paper element like it looks like a full sheet of paper kind of shrunk down and then we have a torn piece of paper here and then you have some layered paper with the paper clip which is really cute this is where you get more of your swatching elements so you have, you know, if you're going to layer something in that kind of realm, you get it from here. And then we have some torn paper elements that are a little smaller, which I think work really well. Uh, and, and they also come from both sides. So you're not stuck with all of your torn paper on one side, per se. Then we have our washi page. So you do get a thicker strip which is probably about a 15 millimeter and a five millimeter would be my guess strip here I love this blue simpleness and then you also get these lace trimmed washies there's two strips there and you could always combine them if you like this look where they're together or you can use them separately then we have some mini dividers in here in different colors your days of the week and some pretty deco in here I love the newspaper actually. I think that's unique and I like the wheelbarrow as well. I mean, they're all pretty, but those are the two that stand out the most to me. 
then we have all of this, which is kind of, you know, your additional items. So we get a foil sampler page with these really cute bikes. Love the bikes. Love the open windows. I bet we'll see those come spring on a $2 Tuesday, which will be amazing. We have some bird cages, a couple of birds through here. And they're not all the same type of bird. Like this one looks more like a cardinal. This looks like a hummingbird. Maybe a chickadee. Not really sure. And these two are very similar, but I don't, I'm not sure what they are. And I love that we have things through the window. Like this looks like a field and you even have a butterfly or two in there. So that's really pretty. Then we have date dots down here. Love it when she includes those. We have a couple of flower colesters down here. And then we have those individual little leaves like you saw on this page. So you could add on to them. You could add them onto your normal boxes here and kind of make things coordinate a little bit more. You could add them around your headers. You know, there's a lot of things you could do with that. And I love that she included it. Then we have our large deco page here. So we have a really large newspaper. I can just imagine like this with like a month script across it. I think that would be really cute. We have this little sign. She had a smaller one of those in the deco. Oh, here's the deco. So you have a smaller one here and a bigger one. So you do something with perspective there. You could label that with something that might be cute. You have another one down here. Then you have these really cute, large floral elements. You have the rocking chair, the window again. So, so pretty. And just, I love this flower basket too. And the butterfly. I would love like just a whole sheet. <laughs> of different butterflies from her. I think that would be amazing. So there is that sheet. Then you get your journaling sheet. So this would be, you know, if you're doing more journaling type pages, you have another set of Monday through Sundays. I love how small these are and delicate. And then you have a variety of swatch elements, a variety of torn paper elements. I actually really love this one, which is like a half circle for like marking the date or specific things, or if I have something that's going to span over two days, using that to mark it works really well. So then we have some torn paper elements here on the side as well, and some washi tape elements, a little bit of deco, my favorite little stamps. <laughs> I don't know what it is about stamps. I love them. And then we have really thin washi down here, it just, and these paper elements here are so pretty as well. You, there's so many things you can do with this. I just think it's amazing. And I love that these two have grid on them. I don't know why I love that, but I do. <laughs> then we have our full page of deco. So we have the floral deco on the sides that are the full length trims. And then in the middle, you have a variety of different elements. We have little clusters. We have individual flowers, individual greenery, and all the clusters are a little bit different. So you're not repeating the same thing over and over again, which can get boring to your eyes. So I love that. You can also use the individual florals to either lengthen a floral or create your own floral cluster. Not always the best at that, but I love the possibilities. <laughs> so there's that. And then I think this is her newest addition is the alcohol ink swatches. And this is on the transparent. And these are just swatches that kind of match the coloring and everything of your kit. They're, they're amazing. They really are. So you have small ones and large ones and just so many things to do with them. And I really think with everything you get in here, you can at least do two weeks worth of planning, if not more. So that's everything for this month's kit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you real soon.